Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Rich Foyles Tech. Today, we are taking a look at this. Oh, this bad boy. This is the U Green DXP 4800 Plus 4 Bay NAS. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, so this is everything that comes with the U Green NAS. It does come with the Ethernet ports, comes with two, comes with the power cord. Comes with the actual adapter, which is quite nuts. It says below 150.1 watts. That's just absolutely nuts. Comes with a screwdriver with little screws. Now these, these are actually the little keys that you use to lock the NAS. It, the NAS. Comes with the user instruction. Now it comes with a manual and a warranty card. So. For the warranty, you do get two years warranty and a customer service for that. And then of course, this is the manual. This will show you absolutely everything. How to assemble it, everything about what the contents are, everything. This will tell you absolutely everything you want to know. So that's for the hard drive in installation. The silicon part is for thermal conduction. Uh, that's for the SSDs. It does come with two Ethernet cables, which are CAT7. Then of course the power adapter. Obviously it does come with the NAS as well. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of information in this, how to actually assemble the drives. Now let's get to the NAS itself. Okay, so this is the Ugreen DX P4800 Plus. This is a 4-bay NAS, which as you can already see, they did send over two 4 terabyte Western Digital NASware drives. Fantastic, big thank you to that. So 8 terabytes in total storage. So, that is USB Type-C, that is a USB 3.2. That is an SD card, which does support SD cards up to 128 gigabit, uh, gigabytes. And then you've got LAN and then the disk indicator LEDs with a power button. There is the SATA interface there. That's for the hard drives included. Let's get to the back. Okay, so we've got 10 gig below, we've got 2.5 gig, we've got two USB 2 ports, we've got a USB 3.2, uh, we've got a HDMI which does uh, output a 4K, we've got a DCN and then we've got a reset button. Okay, so then we've got, this is the underneath of the NAS itself, there is a little cover, just two screws, which they do include a little screwdriver as well. Now it does support two NVMEs, which are Gen 4, and then this is where the RAM goes. At the moment, the current or the base uh configuration is eight gigabytes of ddr5 which is samsung dim uh this does support up to 64 gigabytes in uh, memory storage which is nuts for a nas quite honestly but uh yeah i mean you've got two mvmes nas uh, nas sync which obviously it syncs the for a cache which will make it a lot faster when it comes to like uh back data uh, back backup or uh, transferring data over that if you sync that up with the cache it will actually accelerate the process okay so what's actually in here well unfortunately i can't get any further than that now this does have an intel processor the processor that's in here is the intel x86 12th generation intel pentium it's a gold it's uh five cores with six threads and it is obviously down there somewhere i can't get to it because i'm not uh, really willing to strip this completely but just so you know that obviously that's going to be powering the whole nas and this particular nas does support up to 136 terabytes so basically you well i mean you can get like 30 or 40 or whatever terabytes of these it does support the ssds and quite honestly let's get this powered on and see how the software is and it does have a massive 140 fan at the back but okay so this is the the you green nas now this is the storage pool this is what it's going to tell you by there now i have got it set up as a jbod which is just basically it's got it's got both of the hard drive but it's not set up as a raid that's due to the fact that i just wanted to demonstrate how fast the uh, transfer speeds are and as you can already see my ssd here which is a samsung 990 evo two terabyte it's already cached i've already cached it already so it will uh, make the transfer speeds a lot faster this is the overview and it's just set up as a jbod now here's the files this is the files 
this is another bit of software this is the uh, onboard files as you can already see i've uh, already started transferring stuff over but what i'm going to do now is transfer some data through this and give you uh, the task manager and show you how fast the overall transfers are so here we go okay so i will lower this down now the task manager will show you the i'll show you the disk utilization first because that's going to probably be the uh, better one so i'll go to this now click upload folder now it will pop up right there as you can see i'll go to storage backup i'll go to my backups i will go over here now i will click a, a few uh let's just say six folders that should be around 20 maybe 20 ish gig so once you press select folder this will pop up that and then you've got this now this but here shows you how fast it actually transfers which you can already see but there one is almost finished which is nuts so let's get to the taskbar this is task manager this is showing you the performance of the hard drive as you can see the megabytes per there 127 now it will fluctuate it really does depend the read speeds are but there and right now this will be the mvme helping with the transfer rate that's why the write speeds are going to fluctuate up and down that would be the cache that i've actually used and you can see that the performance is like fluctuating between each drive but it's actually not performing that bad it's almost done one of them is at 55 that shouldn't take too long hopefully uh, but the other ones underneath it are actually seems to be transferring faster and there's a lot more files but obviously that's really going to be dependent now let's go to well, there now we'll go to network there's the network speed the network speed but there it's 115 megabyte that's download and then it's got cpu utilization but sure that's how much the utilization of the cpu is but that 20 percent 13 percent and then that's by there then 54 degrees or 100 and then it does it will go up it depends on how fast the drives are going okay so i paused the rest of them and now you can actually see the performance as you can see it's really going uh, quite quick and one of them as you can see is 58 megabytes that's the status of how, how fast they go in and you can see the file transfer or the file the amount of files 107 files that one is 62 or 63 but it's going really really fast i will say it's really really quick and snappy the you the actual interface of this is very good as well you've got the app sent out which is by here it's got absolute tons of stuff in here for apps these are all free you don't have to worry about a, a subscription because you don't pay it once you buy a, a nas off ugreen this is just automatically involved this guy's on os this guy's on sync backups everything so have a look at these data up oh, and they're both done that was uh well about five minutes to transfer no actually about three minutes to transfer maybe maybe 20 gig of data it's not bad obviously it's going to really depend but that's it for the ui so what did you think of that now yes it's quite a long video but this isn't like a typical review that i usually do is because this is something that i'm not that in well uh, that well informed in now what i'm going to say is the ease of use call to action this is available on amazon and you green's website please hit the links in the description if you want to know any more the the installation of the hard drives is just one little clip and that's easy i can actually show you right here i do show it in the video but it's by there and then you've just got a little pull tab you press it and it comes open and also they sent out two western digital four terabyte nasware drives so they will be staying in here fantastically for the near future now would i recommend this well if you're looking for a nas that's going to be up to you completely uh it depends on what your personal circumstances are if you're looking for something that's a little bit smaller or something that's a bit more affordable that's up to you as well uh, but if you're looking for something that's a good mid-range something that can hold 136 terabytes worth of storage that has the sd card slot it has type c it has usb 
3.2 uh, it has a lot of good features for what you're paying for then this one is definitely a good recommendation from me now i'd like to say a big thank you to you green this is something that's a personal interest it's the only reason why i said yes to it it's a personal interest of myself because i do like nas as well as server type products so hopefully if you guys like the video maybe i can feature some more you green stuff in the future but for now i hope you guys at least have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you don't forget to subscribe i've got absolute tons of stuff coming lee and lee build motherboard reviews i've got gpa review and i've got something special it is the b850 motherboard from sapphire yeah so make sure you subscribe this is rich for welsh tech good bye